Hey everybody, welcome to 5280 Skywatch Photography. Uh, this video is a video that I uploaded a few days ago, a few videos back, and I have watched it numerous times since I uploaded it, and <clears throat> every time I watch I, I see about a hundred new things. And uh, felt the need to redo this video and do it with a paintbrush because I have found that when I point out when I like have somebody over and I point directly at something on the TV in person to somebody uh, point out something that they're not seeing they they usually end up seeing it uh, unfortunately the majority of the people um, that do actually see what I'm pointing out they immediately dismiss it for being uh, of another reason for why what they're seeing is what it is um, uh, and the, the crazy thing about uh, cognitive dissonance because that's what that is is that cognitive dissonance will make a person even a very very smart person make up it make up on the fly um, ridiculous reasons that make absolutely no sense and believe it in their mind so that they do not have to believe what they're actually seeing they don't their mind will not allow them it, it just it's like I keep talking about my buddy Derek this guy has the most severest case of cognitive dissonance I have ever seen because, you know, Derek has this, um, this rare opportunity where he is around me quite a bit. And so I'm constantly shoving this stuff in his face because he tries to argue with me about these things. And he basically says that I'm crazy and I'm seeing things, but I, over the years I have watched him. I can just see that now when I show him things, he sees it and he's just literally, I can just see it in his eyes trying to come up with some excuse for what I am showing him and for what he is seeing. Uh, it's unbelievable. Yeah, he's the one that uh, says the reason why the dark spots on the moon are blue when the moon is out during the day is because the sky is blue and the sky is in between the moon and my eyeballs. You know, that is ridiculous. Tell me it's tell me it's not ridiculous. <laughs> and so then you should hear his theory on why he's seeing these faces in the sky and seeing these numbers and you know the straight lines and why the clouds are going in opposite directions. This guy has an he has an excuse for everything. And it none of his excuses make any sense whatsoever. <laughs> so uh before i start this video i want to let you guys know that i i'm aware that i i have been coming off uh kind of cocky in my in my more recent videos if not many um and i'm not trying to come off that way and i i'm not cocky um i have probably sounded angry sometimes and uh a little aggressive and uh, yeah I am a little aggressive in nature um, but I want you guys to know that I'm a really nice guy uh, and you know I'm not perfect and uh, sometimes I let my emotions get the best of me and I have never been one my entire life to um, you know I've always struggled with uh, how, how to deal with with um, myself uh, correctly um, it's always been a struggle for me um, but uh, I'm aware of what uh, how I have been sounding and I just I hope you guys know I'm a good guy uh, I I don't hurt people I don't threaten people all I do is uh, do good things and nice things for people um, 
and not because I'm trying to earn brownie points. I've just a, I'm just a, I'm just a nice, genuine. I'm a genuine nice guy. Um, but I'm not perfect. I never claim to be perfect. Um, but uh, I do. I do uh, admit when I'm wrong. I am a real man. I, I, uh, unfortunately, a lot of people can't do that. And fortunately, I can recognize when I am slipping. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. But I am uh, definitely aware of it and uh, doing something about it. And uh, I'm sorry if I... Uh, came off that way to some of you people I, I, I never intended to uh, you know just to be an asshole <laughs> so I hope you guys understand um, uh, so here we go let's do this video all right <clears throat> so um I guess we'll just start off with this frame of this video and um, clearly there's a gentleman's head right here right and then there's a little something like a shark or something going on down there um, literally in every frame of the sky anybody shoots it you're gonna catch so much if you can see it's just unbelievable the way that the, the art the, the AI there's obviously AI controlling uh, these projections and uh, <clears throat> I always use this as as an example. When I was in my younger, in my early teens, uh, I'd go to the mall, and every every any mall I'd go to, there would be a store selling these um, these posters that looked like they were of nothing. And when you stared at these posters long enough, and your eyes adjusted, you would end up seeing a three dimensional. Uh, mural in the poster well that is exactly what is going on with the sky ladies and gentlemen but on a way 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 higher scale uh, and and in so those those posters at the mall you would only see one mural in the in the poster well in the sky you see 10 at once no doubt this this technology is just it's hard to it's hard to believe but when you can see it with your own eyes you have there is absolutely no doubt i tell my friend derek all the time i'm like dude do you think i'm stupid or crazy or both i'm like do you what well, why would somebody for th almost three years straight pound you and pound you and with non-stop the same exact thing and insist on what they're saying is true unless they're completely bonkers out of their mind and unfortunately for Derek I am not bonkers out of my mind I know what I'm talking about uh, it's like why would I do why would I, every time every time you see me I'm doing nothing but trying to show you this stuff do you, why would I why would I waste all that time and that's what I've been doing is wasting my time because this dude just he, he's anti-truth anti-truth it's almost like if he didn't figure it out he doesn't want to believe it that's what I'm starting to that's what I'm starting to get from this guy but anyway I'm veering off I I digress I digress like oh Richard um so yeah let's uh Let's hit the play button. Oops. And you guys see these. Hold on. You guys see all these faces, right? Like we got this guy right here. Uh, we definitely got that guy right here. We got this guy's head laying sideways. We got another one here. We've got the number three right here. The number three, of course. And Lel and Enki. Yep. Um, you know, and that came to my mind, that realization. I've said this before. I was watching a Tool video. I saw the drummer was wearing a Boston Celtics jersey with the number 33, and it just hit me. I'm like, 33, everybody thinks the Masons. Well, that's what you're meant, you're supposed to think that. 
You're not supposed to think Enlil and Enki. But uh, now that I'm making this aware to you that, um, you know, Boston Celtics jersey, the number 33, it just clicked in my mind. Why would that have anything to do with being a Mason? It doesn't. It has everything to do with Jonathan Kleck and Derek Bros. Enlil and Enki, 33s. They are the gods of this world. Of course that's their number. It's two E's backwards, and then there's fives in the sky everywhere as well, which is E is the fifth letter in the alphabet. And Lil and Enki, 55, 33, 33. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So, um, yeah, let's hit the play button. In the sky. Well, the best. Whoops. Pre, pre, uh, whoops, whoops, whoops. Let's back her up. If you think anything other than what I'm telling you. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Oh. I cannot. All right. Shut up, John. <laughs> As you can see, uh, here, let's do this the right way real fast. All right, as you can see, these clouds are moving faster than these ones. These ones back here aren't even moving. They might start this one moving at a different speed. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. You're looking at five or six layers right here. And of course, we've got through this video we, we keep getting you see the lizard tongue lizard head keep getting these silhouettes of these monsters coming from the left to the right and i'm going to point something else out here i've pointed this out in videos before but i'm just i've got to i've got to make it got to get this to stick um hold on Oh, come on, dude. Um, if you watch the clouds, um, uh, lately here in Denver, the, the wind's been blowing and blowing, and this day is no different. And so when you have moisture, you would think that if there's wind blowing, that the moisture would not keep its shape, and it definitely wouldn't make real-looking faces. You know what I mean? Um, watch these the, when you can see the clouds close notice how they do not change their shape and when they do it takes them quite a while to change shape if they were if the moisture was blowing in the wind it would not keep its shape look at this demon it would not change its shape or it would change its shape I'm sorry <laughs> These clouds are not changing their shapes. And they're they're not even blowing the same direction as the wind. And of course we've got all of this color, which is just kind of, I would say it's it's kind of a glitch. Or maybe they wanted it to do that. Who knows? But check out right here, I gotta pause it. Oh come on. Alright. Oh, I messed up. I am not good at this, you guys. Okay. Check out how these clouds are coming. It just it isn't right here. Straight line. You can see the layers. Now I noticed something here uh, when I was watching it a previous time. You're going to start seeing like bodies of people coming uh it, they're, they're in the shadows so here they're 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 right here 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 there's people look at this guy's face right here and his hair you see that look there's a real person's face right here and here there's all these triangle craft here 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 everywhere the triangle these triangles are you all see these clouds moving at different speeds whoops oh, I can't even hit the play button 
Oh, this is ridiculous. They're stopping. They're moving and stopping, moving and stopping. And we've got the number three. Look at this guy right here. Look at this guy right here. There's a head right here. Triangles everywhere. Numbers. There's a three. See the three? See the three? I'm sorry. I'm not a... I'm not a scientist or anything, but this is common sense, you guys. I'm sure most of the people watching this video know that already. Okay. Oh, shoot. Come on. Okay. Oh, man. Never mind, I got so caught up in trying to just hit the pause button that uh, I forgot what I was going to point out. Got a silhouette of a face right here. Look at that head. This is with my cell phone and a $12 eight times magnification telescope from Walmart. Cell phone telescope. Quite incredible. Quite impressive, I would have to say. Got another head. Whoops, whoops. Got a head here, head here. You know what? Fast forward. Okay. Clearly got a triangle right here. With smoke, cloud, whatever you want to say, appearing to be come uh, cloaking itself with 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 cloud, smoke, whatever you want to call it. There is clearly the almost full spectrum color of the rainbow in these clouds. This is on a daily here in Denver. I don't know about where you guys live. Just about every day in Denver we get these uh, rainbow clouds. It's when the, it's the way the light from the me mechanical sun hits the laser beams. I think it's a glitch that they just could not work the kinks out to. That's my opinion. Okay, we're going to go to 1744. That's close enough. All right, now you're going to see, and this is what I see. I see bodies laying down, face down and face up. There's a guy... There's a guy, little dude, right here. This is a dude. This is a dude. Okay. You'll tell me if you see the same thing as me. All right. We got a guy laying here. Here's a guy's head. Here's a guy's face. Here's a guy right here. Here. And, you know, I hate to say it, but it almost looks like these uh, men are not wearing any clothes see his head here head here all right right here we've got a guy's we got a face. 
So we got a dude that appears to be climbing a rope going this way. And this appears to be almost like a road. And there's a guy walking right here. There's some kind of crazy creature right here. Oops. All right. Now, do y'all see the perfect face right here? Perfect face. And then all, these are all bodies laying up, you know, looking up or look, laying up or laying down. Here. This dude, obviously, here, here, here. They're every. The, the clouds are of humanoid bodies. You can clearly see their faces and their bodies. His head right here yeah it's just it's everywhere right here uh, you guys see what I'm you guys see what I'm seeing anyway there are some other things I wanted to point out but I didn't time stamp anything let's see if we can see anything right here I mean, just look at these. This is just a band of, of color going across, a, a layered band of color with triangles, faces. I don't know. I hope you guys got something out of this. Um, there's clearly more faces, clouds uh, moving and stopping, moving and stopping. <clears throat> Do you see that? Do you all see this? A layer will stop and another layer will move. A layer will stop, another layer will move. And just giant, whoops, silhouettes of faces and teeth and. No, oops, come on, there's another line right here. There's craft everywhere. What appear to be craft. And then there's uh, bodies all in the shadows in here. Floating bodies. Take a good look. There's a straight line. See all, these, see all these floating bodies? Number threes everywhere. I think I got my point across. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I, I appreciate all you guys that uh, watch my videos. And uh, I really appreciate the ones that thank me. And for those that do, you are welcome. My, it's my pleasure. I am honored 
for people to watch what I'm showing and to understand and see. That's that's where I get that's where I get my rocks off is is by knowing that I that there are actually people seeing these things. And I hope that I'm helping someone out out there. So you are welcome and thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day.